Hey there folks, Casual Gamer here, and today we're going to cover a, a quick little video just about the strategy that you can use uh, in placing your tents for the Great One Grind. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I'm not going to go into detail about what tents are, how much they cost, where to get them, how to get them, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to assume that you've already got the tent and ground blind DLC and that you have a basic familiar, familiarity with tents. Uh, we're going to go to Quattro Kalinas because that's where not only I have chosen to do my great one grind, but where most, uh, most players have. Um, the basic concept of this video, or how to place your tents for Great One Grinds, is when you're dealing with smaller lakes, uh, lakes that you can spot across the entire lake, just placing one tent, whether you use uh, some kind of initial placement strategy where you don't necessarily know where your drink zones are you just place a tent somewhere within 250 yards of the edge of the lake uh, and come back you know find your your uh, your drink zones and then you know change your placement that to somewhere that makes more strategic sense with smaller lakes, I recommend using one tent uh, and keeping your tent within, or yeah, somewhere around 250 yards away from the drink zone. That way, when you spawn to that tent, the uh, the deer, you know, basically spawn in. If you're too close to to the drink zone and your tent is too close to it when you spawn in the deer will not spawn. Uh, but, you know, that if you're 200, 250 yards away, you know, then they will spawn in. So, <clears throat> the next, with bigger lakes, I recommend using multiple tents. So, uh, on this lake, because it's so big, you know, I'm using the out, outpost as one spawn location. Then I have a tent here and a tent here. Now, with bigger lakes, it's okay to have your tent within the 250 yards. Matter of fact, I would suggest that it's even preferable to have it within 250 yards. That way, when you spawn to this lake, you don't want these deer to spawn in, right? Then you can, you know, check your other drink zones, right? And then move to another tent, and then this one will spawn in because you're more than 200, 200, 250 yards away. And, you know, th that way, when you spawn to this tent, you're not spooking the deer from this drink zone, right? And then when you spawn in over, over at a different location, then those deer will spawn in, and you can still take them out without worrying about them getting spooked by spawning to this, to this location. So, um... The other thing I would recommend is like, notice for this, for this lake, there's no convenient outpost that you can use that's, that's close. So what I do, what I do in situations like that is I'll spawn to, you know, to this location or maybe this location, jump on an ATV, initially place my tents without knowing for sure where the drink zones are, and then once I have discovered the drink zones, then I might change the location of my tents to be a little more strategic. Uh, with that being said, I'm, you know, like I said, I wanted to keep this one short and sweet, just offer a quick little video uh, to offer a little bit of guidance about you know, what to think about when you're placing your tents. And you know, to, to summarize that, it's just with, with smaller lakes, you use one tent, uh, keep it away from the edge of the lake. That way, when you spawn to that tent, your red deer or, you know, that you're, that you're grinding for the great one will spawn in and you'll be able to find that, you know, find your drink zones. And then once you know where your drink zones are, you know, you might want to place the tent more strategically 
so that you can, you know, just hop to these different locations, you know, take your red deer out quickly and, you know, make your red deer grind more efficient. So with that being said, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.